essentially walking in a circle. As some of you may or may not know, Ryan is in Cali, so he is trapped in Cali because Cali is still shut down. Uh, he was going to come out, but his job, he actually switched. He's not working for iBock anymore. He's working for another streaming company. What's going on, guys? So, as you can see, well, judged by the title of the video, we are out at the firm in the cheapest B20 swap ever, EK Coupe. Now, if you guys remember a couple, well, probably a couple years ago now, bought a another EK Civic that had a B20 swap and some other stuff. And I pulled the B20 swap out, I put it in this Civic, and I did a bunch of suspension work, all kinds of stuff, but I didn't cover any of that in the initial video. The initial video was just installing the B20 and that was that. So this is the first video since that one about the uh, EK. So we're out here at the firm right now, Eibach track attack. And I just went out on my first session and the track's kind of damp. It's been raining in Florida and um, I didn't really get to push it. Also, I noticed I'm having a voltage issue. Uh, I think the alternator, like the voltage regulator is going bad or something because it's jumping between 12 point something volts and almost all the way up to 14.8 and the car doesn't want to start so we've been push starting it um but yeah it's damp i didn't really get to push it they put me in an advanced class and i was out there with like a bunch of track prep cars and basically the slowest thing on the track but anyway about the car we last night changed the oil did all of that stuff um, I installed a wideband and a Honda S300 and I actually tuned it on the way here. You saw that in the uh, cinematic stuff in the beginning, but it's feeling good. Um, I'll give you guys a background, we'll walk around to the car and tell you guys what's up with it. So this is the Civic. It's a 2000 EX B20 swap. I'll get to that in a second. Um, currently I did a Type R 4 on fourteen conversion. It is running Prelude big rotors 11 inch rotors um a cord wagon calipers hawk hp plus pads um 17 by 8 fives again fn01 rcs with a 235 4017 on the front and 17 by 7 in the rear with a 225 45 in the rear uh it has skunk 2 pro series coilovers it's got buddy club p1 rear camber arms it's got hard raised toe arms in the rear and hard raised upper control arms in the front as far as the swap goes stock b20 um i even have the factory air box which reminds me we need to take the filter out of it just to see because i've never changed the filter on this thing Here, i'll show you guys peep the overflow bottle the filter is pretty uh Pretty cruddy old paper unit. So we're gonna just toss that and uh, give it a try and see how that goes. But like I said, stock, it's got a CompTech engineering header, exhaust, white line, strut tower bars, front and rear. But otherwise stock, very boring. Yeah. 